This is part two of the ZTE Racer using the Google sat navs. I hope this is a little bit better for you. The first one was a bit ropey. Well, here we go again. We're going to Google Maps. And um, we want to find something to eat. So I'm going to click on menu now. Let's pass this phone to my son to hold again. Thank you. Can you keep it there? Right, let's go to um, search. Um, we want to find something to eat, so I'm going to click on. We want a pizza, so I'm going to type in pizza. Getting a search now. It's asking us again, did we mean pizza? And we did. I know it's highlighted a few places here now, so I'm just going to zoom in a bit. And we know there's a pizza place just up here. And um, when I, it's highlighted all these little red dots, all little places where they sell pizzas. We know there's one on Huddersfield Road here where we normally go. So I'm going to highlight, I'm going to click on this now, it tells you the name of it. So I highlighted that now, and now we're going to press navigate now. It says number 50, Huddersfield Road. Hold them and it's 3.4 miles. And let's navigate. Yes, we don't want to get directions, we want to navigate. So it's getting driving directions now. Head south on John Street toward Alden Road A669. Then turn left onto Alden Road A669. So here we go. Turn left onto Alden Road A669. Didn't get to see much of the last um, sat nav on the phone because the sun was shining in the camera on my first review. We've, we've got the sun behind us this time, so hopefully you might in be able to see it. Of a mile, turn left onto A, lane B6195. A little bit better. Got interrupted again there. Now the voice is not much good on here when she tells you the directions to turn left or right. It's a bit squeaky like, but you know. You can just wind that window up a bit. See that window's wound up. Yeah. There you go. Just winding the window up there as um, you can hear the wind coming into the car. Close that. Just stopping at the traffic lights at the moment, so and we'll get some tea. The phone has also got a program on it called Latitude. Now with this, if you have friends who've all got Turn an on left onto A, lane B6195. Sorry, I've gone the wrong way then, but the will redirect us now. Let's reroute him. Continue on A669 for one mile. As I was saying before, before I got interrupted with the sat nav, uh, it's got latitude on this. And if all your friends have got an Android phone, and obviously it's got Google Maps on it because they all come with Google sat nav maps, um, you can all register to it well, you just agree to it actually you don't have to register and put any name and address or anything you just um, highlight uh, you know accept the terms and conditions and if you are uh, on your phone you can have a look on your google maps and it'll show you where all your friends are and you can highlight your friends and then get directions it will tell you where they are so for example, if they were out shopping in a town centre and you wanted to find them on a street and you had to drive there, you can get directions to to that location where they are. 
party car up and then you might have to walk the rest if you're in the town centre. But um, you don't have to have this on all the time, you can turn this off. So if you don't want your friends knowing where you are, you can turn this off. In so a then, of a mile, turn left onto Broadway A663. You can turn this off so your friends don't know where you are if you don't want them to know where you are. And you can turn it on and off as you want. Uh, maybe you wanted to find somebody and they haven't got theirs turned on, you'd have to... Sorry about that, you'll have to... Uh, I'm going to go straight ahead to show you the routing again. Instead of going left. to see much of this but keeps interrupting me <laughs> um, you might not have seen much of this on the camera what we're using but you know I hope it gives you an idea but it does work it's very good it's my son's form and I keep pinching it off him <laughs> so um, I'm gonna get one myself but with obviously a better camera as I said before the 3.2 picks a camel on here we know flash is no good um, that's the only downfall um, I'm going to get one with a bit of Google Maps on it but with a better camera and a flash built in it in a quarter of a mile turn left onto Featherstall Road north A6048 See this a bit better now. Turn left onto Featherstall Road, North A6048. Let's go turn left again. I'm going to go straight ahead again. For some mad reason, it's taking me left, left, left. Which, um. In 800 feet, side right toward A6 to A627. Seems to be taking me another way around. Right, right, toward A6 to two, A6 to seven. Well, I find this on my normal sat nav, it does this. But I actually know where we're going, so... I know this way. In 800 way. feet, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto A6 to two, A6 to seven, heading to Huddersfield Ashton U line. I'll sort of show the roundabout now I can see it. Sorry about the interruption but it keeps telling me, no, it keeps coming on as I'm talking. I keep pausing so you can um, hear the sound I'm giving the instructions. Exit the roundabout onto A6 to two, A627, heading to Huddersfield Ashton U line. Then take the exit on the right toward Ashton U line A627. Take the exit on the right toward oh. Ashton U line A627. you this actual streets as you're um, driving past them you might not be able to see it on the you might not be able to see it on the camera what we're recording with the actual form we've got I think the screen about what? I can't remember the sizes. It's probably about two and a half inches wide by about. Exit the roundabout onto Brook Street A62. Uh, about, probably about two inches at night. But yes, yeah, so I can see it in it, uh, you know. 1,000 feet. Turn right onto Soho Street. 
not the biggest camera light, you know, sat nav view thing, but yes, it works. I can see it, and I'm getting on of it, you know. Don't have to be that big, really, to um, see it. When you start getting too big, you can't put the thing in your pocket. It's not a mobile, then it's a brick. We're nearly at our destination now, not by one miles. And then should we get some tea? It's ideal if you're on holiday and you don't know where a supermarket is. We do a lot of camping and want to know where a supermarket right is. Onto Soho Street, then turn left onto Green Road. I want to know where the pictures is, you know, we can um, type it in the Google sat nav and we'll get some eating and do our shopping. As you know, we don't know the locations when we're going on holidays, so this helps us a lot. Turn left onto Green Lucas Road, then turn left onto Forge Street. Turning left on that. Saving a little bit there, Adam. I can see it finishing in a minute. Yeah, that's the Turn left onto Forge Street, then turn left onto Huddersfield Road A62. Turn left onto Huddersfield Road A62, then your destination will be on the left. And we've reached our destination. It's actually telling us to turn left outside the shop, but um, you can't actually park outside the shop, so we're going to stop here now. And I hope this has been a better review. I'm sorry about the interruptions with this sat nav. I have to keep pausing and then carry on with me um, a bit of a speech. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it's turned out a little bit better than my first one. Okay, thank you. Bye.